Here's one tip that will extend the life of your car battery and make them last longer than ever. Now let's get this. Your car's alternator is not very good at charging up a battery that has gone below a certain voltage. As you can see, the battery reads 12.38-ish volts. It's recommended to externally charge a battery with a voltage of less than 12.5 volts. For completeness and to buttress this point, I'll go ahead to use this battery tester on the battery. I'll connect the positive and negative leads to the battery terminals and go into the appropriate menu. The tool asks me to remove surface charge from the battery, which I do by turning on the high beam lights for 10 seconds. I go ahead to select battery type actually i should have selected the enhanced flooded lead acid battery or efb i select the cold cranking apps or european norms en which this battery is rated for 650 amps conduct the test as you can see the tool says that this is a good battery however it needs to be recharged going back to the point that i made earlier the other parameters show that the battery is only able to deliver 553 amps of its rated 650 amps indicating a state of health of 85 percent State of charge is at 56% with a voltage of 12.34 volts. As you can see from the chart, voltages in the yellow zone indicate that the battery needs to be recharged. Even though a battery in the yellow zone can still start your car, leaving a battery with these voltages only encourages sulfation which builds on the battery plates and ends up shortening the lifespan of the battery. Note that at this point, no alternator can recharge this battery back to full capacity. Routinely testing and charging your battery externally, if necessary, is good practice. Batteries work really hard, especially when you have a lot of accessories on or you're driving stop and go traffic. I hook up this 5 amp Fox Shell charger, connecting the red lead to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative lead to the ground on the chassis. Note that whenever you're charging a battery externally in the car, you only want to connect the negative lead to a good ground on the chassis and not the negative terminal of the battery. The reason for this is that batteries give off flammable high hydrogen gas when they are charging and you don't want any sparks that may come from attaching the lead to the negative terminal to ignite the hydrogen gas. As you can see, the battery is at about 40% given that the charger doesn't have any rating for 56%. I turn on the charger and it begins to do its thing. Note that I'm using the regular or standard charging and not the repair function of the charger. The repair function pulses high voltages in order to break down the sulfation crystals and these high voltages can damage sensitive electronics in the car. After 4 hours, the battery is fully charged and I leave it for an additional hour as recommended by Foxshaw. Testing and charging your battery externally on a schedule, for me I'd say at least twice a year will extend the service life. You may need to do this more often if you do a lot of short trips in traffic. As you can see from the after results, both the state of health and state of charge are both looking better. You could even take the battery out of the car and use the repair function if you want to further improve the state of health. You can also see that the internal resistance has improved to 4.66 and internal resistance less than 10 milliohms is desirable. For more tips on how to make your car battery last longer, feel free to click on this video. Catch you on the next one. Peace!